Oh my goodness, Nedre has bodacious badonkers. It's the end of the world. Now, I apologize for looking like Aizawa Sensei without sleep, but I honestly didn't know I was going to make a video today. Much less on the topic of Nejure Hado. But alas, Twitter had a fit, so here we are. Apparently people are all upset because Nejure, who just made an appearance in My Hero Academia Season 4 Episode 1, is depicted with a bigger chest than in the original source manga material. And naturally, they're all screaming sexism, misogyny, and they demand that the people responsible for this animation literally leave life. Because, you know, that's called for. So let's dive into this one. But before we do, special thanks to Hero Hey and Yellow Flash for compiling all the tweets and information regarding this. Links to their channels can be found in the description below. Without further ado, let's get on to defending New Best Girl. Okay, so let's actually dive into this article. This comes from Bounding Into Comics. Okay, we have a picture of Nedre Hado here. And it's a group of My Hero Academia fans, yeah, fans, accused Studio Bones of misogyny for depiction of Nejure Hado, okay? Following the premiere of My Hero Academia Season 4, Season 4, we'll talk about that, members of the fandom hurled tired accusations of kid love and uh, making children more attractive at the production studio, Studio Bones, due to the appearance of one Nejure Hado in the season's first episode. On October 12th, the premiere of My Hero Academia Season 4 was aired both in Japan and simuldubbed in English. Uh, blah blah blah, little summary here. Following her first full-fledged appearance in the previous episode, again, we'll talk about why she didn't just appear in Season 4, the episode also featured an appearance by Class 3A student and member of the Big 3, Nejure Hado. It was the appearance of this character and a slight exaggeration of her chest made in the translation of the source material from pages of the manga to the television anime that drew criticism and accusations of, again, kid love from the more vocal members. Yeah, because the ones that shout the loudest are the ones that are heard most and give the fandom a really bad name, who view media with the focus of woke warrior-ness of the My Hero Academia fandom. Okay, so normally, I'd say this is nothing surprising of that toxic part of the fandom, and I wouldn't even really consider this major news and wouldn't keep reading. Uh, this is nothing new, and it doesn't really compare to what they said about Endeavor's Redemption or anything else until we look a little deeper. Uh, now there's some tweets about this. Hi Studio Bones, can you explain to me how her chest went from this to that? And this is the first picture, right? Here she is in the manga, and here she is in the anime. As a normal My Hero Academia fan and manga lover, I don't have a problem with this, okay? I only have a problem when you take a character from a manga and make them look like a Netflix adaptation meme. That's the only thing I care about. This is fine. This is a fine creative direction. And her as a character, we'll get into this a little later, I don't care what size her chest is, okay? Let's not pretend that, you know, she's uh, the most bodacious character in anime or even the least, okay? It doesn't matter to me. Horikoshi writes some great female characters, and I don't like them for their body, all right? And, okay, so we have other tweets. Studio Bones, where do you live? I just want to talk. Okay, so here's the original tweet. Hunt them down, and then he posts their Wikipedia page with the location of their studio. It's in Igusa Suganami, Tokyo. Now, I didn't even get to this part in the article, and I'm sure, like many of you are saying right now, Really? You're going to say this? That's pretty tasteless in uh, in light of the Kyoto anime situation that we all know. So yeah, they go on to do things like that. So this is not just some uh, upset, woke people. This is people really coming after Horikoshi and the animation studio. Um, ah uh, yes, very normal thing for animators to do to child characters. And this one again says something about breasts aren't sexual, and then they're made to be, no matter their age. Again, we'll talk about Nedjure's age and why she's actually not a child, she's 18. Uh, but that's about it. Here's uh, all the things Hero Hei compiled. But yeah, let's dive into this one. Let's first go over why criticizing Nedjure Hado as a character specifically is ridiculous, and then talk more broadly about the hate and criticism Horikoshi and My Hero Academia gets from very upset fans. Because believe me, once season 4 gets going and once we get into the real heat of it, I just can't see this being the end of it. 
So their first argument is that Nedra Hado and her character is under 18, and therefore she's a child. So going in this creative direction of making her chest bigger is taking a child and making them attractive. Uh, that's completely false. Nedra Hado is 18 years old, currently in the manga, and when the events of Season 4 are taking place. This is confirmed on her Wikipedia page. So the idea that My Hero Academia and Studio Bones and the creator Koei Horikoshi is pushing some weird narrative with children is completely false. There is a lot of irony going after a character like Nejure Hado for her womanly qualities, which we'll touch upon later. Oh, touch upon. Does that offend you? Secondly, if you wanted to pursue the argument of they're not 18 yet, you would have gone after characters like Kirishima and Yayorozu, which in fact you have. But if you wanted to do this for Nejure Hado, where were you in Season 3 when she made her debut? And this is how I know you're only doing this for attention and clout. You could have said when Nejure Hado was still 17 in Season 3, hey, we don't like her design of making her chest bigger. But you didn't, because you knew that the show was winding down and every anime fan and their mother was saying, hey, how do I fill this void without My Hero Academia? Oh, is that Kimetsu no Yaiba trending on social media? Yes, please. Unless you're a manga reader, no one's paying attention to My Hero Academia. So what do you do? You wait until season 4 premieres, when everyone comes back, when everyone comes together to watch the show again, when My Hero Academia trends again to make this complaint. And now, she's 18 and you missed your chance. That's how I know you're only doing this for attention and that this is really just fake outrage. Also, Nejure's depiction isn't overtly sexual. In fact, it's almost not sexual at all. Yes, Mineta makes a comment about her chest in season 3, but he comments on everyone. If you look at this new adaptation of her in the school uniform with a slightly bigger chest, that's just it. It's still in a school uniform. There's no cleavage being shown. It's the same with her hero costume as well. She wears a full body suit, and in fact, it almost looks like her chest is actually compressed and smaller when she's in her hero costume. So, what are you trying to say? That anime characters shouldn't depict this body type, or this isn't a natural depiction of women? Because, newsflash, there are women with this body type. And that's okay. What do these people do when they meet a woman with this body type? And some women don't. And that's okay. My Hero Academia represents them all. Look at Kyoka Jiro. Do you think she has the same size chest as Nejure? No. But does that really matter to someone watching My Hero Academia? An anime about becoming superheroes? What are they gonna say? Oh, I love Jiro as a hero. She's so skilled and she has crazy sound abilities. But you know what would just make her better as a hero? Bigger Opie. Like, what? Although Nejure Hado was first presented as kind of an airhead, we now know her stats from the Ultra Analysis book, and this proves otherwise. So even though she did great in the beauty contest, she's not just here for eye candy. As it turns out, she's an immensely strong, skilled, and intelligent hero. By all standards, she's the perfect woman character. And it gets even better. Horikoshi recently gained some representation points, as it was revealed in the Ultra Analysis book that two characters are trans. Now, although it didn't specifically say anything about Nejure, if you go read her bio, her hobbies and interests include her liking jasmine tea and lilies. Now, I don't know about jasmine tea, but if you're partial to the lily flower in Japanese culture, that's a subtle way of saying that the character is attracted to girls. So, you had a character who is not only uber intelligent, skilled, and talented as a hero, is as beautiful as a modest supermodel, but also, she liked the women. But nope, chest too big. Not only are they going after Horikoshi, which we'll get into, they're saying that, hey, we should go hunt down Studio Bones. And they posted their area in Suganami, Tokyo, and let's go find them. Oh yeah? I've been to Suganami, Tokyo, okay? It's a big place. Good luck. I'm being rhetorical, by the way. What a mature thing to say after everything that's happened with the Kyoto situation. These are the same woke people who take all jokes seriously and assert that certain words are akin to violence. So if I say something that offends you, it's more or less like I'm punching you. They are then going to turn around and joke about hunting these people down, or maybe not even joke about going after these anime studios? Are you kidding me? Oh, the irony. Barring anything physical, what about someone's mind? Horikoshi has actually had to take breaks in manga chapters because he can't handle this criticism. So, what if you just got into the head of some animator of Bones Studios? What if that animator was a woman 
who just wanted to represent a different body type on a character. Good job! What it really boils down to is fake outrage and people attacking something that's popular and doing well in the entertainment industry, but that doesn't push woke agendas. And you can see this with Marvel. All the success they've had with Endgame and they still can't hold audiences. They asked Shonen Jump to help them with their comics. And you know why they need help? Because no one likes woke superheroes. It may in fact seem like the number of weebs is going up, and maybe it is. But I think it's just people that are turning to other comics, other webtoons, and other Japanese manga to receive their stories. They don't want to deal with some agenda. They just want great, captivating narratives that focus around great characters. And Horikoshi, My Hero Academia is doing just that. And that's why people are upset. I'm honestly torn making videos like this because on the one hand, it actually gives these people clout and brings their ridiculous tweets into the spotlight, but at the same time, I gotta stand up for Horikoshi, I gotta stand up for Bone Studios, and I gotta call out this ridiculousness over a character who simply had a creative direction go a little bit differently than a manga, and now people are saying almost to go after the studio? That's nuts, and I gotta draw the line there. Let me know what you guys think down below of this whole situation regarding Nejere Hado's feminine features. And let me know what you think about the hate and criticism that Horikoshi, My Hero Academia, and even other popular Japanese manga is now bound to get. Also, drop a comment for Best Girl, because she needs your support. If you like My Hero Academia content, please subscribe by joining UA today. Also, if you want me to do more anime news videos, I'm certainly up to the task, so let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching, and plus ultra. Also, Nejure, you're a top tier waifu no matter what size your chest is. Love ya.